preach it to people, I don't become a task for it. That is the reason why we have to walk circumspectly to redeem the time. Walk circumspectly, take your time. Break every ground, right? Into bits and pieces. Make sure that your walking with Jesus is clean and perfect. So that at the end of the day, we will not be a task for it. For those people who are performing miracles at that time, they do not enter. The biggest elephant that stayed outside the ark when the flood came during the time of Noah became destroyed. The smallest ark that entered into the into the ark was saved. So your extra status and everything that you have does not matter. What matters is inside. Amen. Hallelujah. What is in the inside? I want to know. What is in the inside? What is inside you? Is what actually tells who you are. The Bible says you cannot be a, a wolf in sheep clothing. You know the reason why the Bible says that? Because outside, after I have put on the, the, the covering of the wolf, they will see the fall. Everybody will like the fall. But one thing the, the, the sheep, the wolf inside that sheep fall cannot do, he cannot change the inside of himself. Every time he performs something, he must perform what he really is. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Whatever you do, when you can cover holy garments, you can raise up your hand and say, Hallelujah, I am a bishop, I am a pastor, I am a pope. But what is telling what are the fruits that have been inside? This is what the problem is. What is going on in the inside? You can have air conditioned outside, but what condition is that? <laughs> Until you reach to the point where the crowd cannot stop you anymore. 
Zacchaeus could not be stopped by the crowd. When you start praying, then you begin to see even your husband will become a barrier. It will stop you from coming to church. When you begin to pray, your wife will be a problem. He will stop you. Know why? Because he, she's used to going to um, you know those people now tie this thing and put you under control. When you begin to pray, that control doesn't work anymore. Amen. Remote Amen. control dead. Amen. Remote control what? Dead. Amen. It's dead. Because the greater power has entered into the house. Amen. I say what? The greater power has entered into the house. When the greater power has entered into the house, no person in that work will perform. Amen. No other person in you will go into action. No demon on earth can challenge you. Because the power of Jesus in the house. Yes. And how can you bring this power of Jesus? The power of Jesus can be brought by prayer and fasting. We just finished a one week fasting. Something has happened in the spirit realm. Power has changed us. Power has changed us. So I don't care how powerful the power that is fighting against you or that is being, that is being, that is oppressing you. When you bring Jesus in the sea, everything will change. I say what? Everything will change. Amen. If they come at night and bless evil powers upon you, when you are in a church that bless, by that night, some members of the group will wash you with the blood. Amen. I say what? They will wash you with the blood and everything will change. Amen. It will change by force. Amen. That is the authority of the yes. name of Jesus. There is authority that cannot be challenged. Your sister can be an obstacle. Your brother can be an obstacle. Your friends will begin to be an obstacle when you begin to advance towards Jesus. There was also the problem of criticism. You can be criticized. Definitely your, cons- your, 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 your intention to pursue Jesus will not go without opposition. People will oppose you they said, look at this, what you want to do? After she has lived the last, you know, you know what life? I don't even know. Now she's done it. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Ah, just forget about her. Just forget about him. After. But the Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 7, verse 1. Can you somebody read Matthew 7, 1 for me? Help me with that. Matthew chapter 7, verse 1. They can condemn you. They can say everything that they don't they want to say. But one thing that I know, they don't have that power. <laughs> Nobody has the power to condemn anybody. Nobody. For the church is a hospital, spiritual. Everybody will come with his leprosy. Seven one. Matthew chapter seven verse one. He said, "Judge not that you that you be not judged. Uh-huh. For with what measure, with what judgment you judge, you will be judged. Judge not. So those critics that start criticizing you." First of all, they are, they are pouring insult upon themselves. Because when you judge somebody, you are judging yourself already. Amen. These people, they had the mind. They said, because Zacchaeus was noticed by Jesus, and he said, Zacchaeus, come down from that place. Tonight, I am going to die in your house. Everybody knew Zacchaeus that Zacchaeus is a criminal. Maybe people know you here, you are a criminal. Maybe people know me that I am a criminal. But today, I am preaching the word of God. Objection. No rejection. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. Because these people did not only accuse Zacchaeus, they accused Jesus of even dwelling with a sinner. An abomination. How can you condemn the King of Kings and the Lord of Heaven and earth? Who are you? Who are you to condemn Jesus? They did condemn Jesus. The Bible said, look at this man, he doesn't even know what he's doing. Jesus said, I have not come to seek the righteous. They are already in the kingdom. They are already back there. They are enjoying. I don't want them. I have come to seek for those who are lost. And even these lost, they are in the hole. I will go for them. That is why we have slave, slavehood attitude in this church. We have to go down. Christianity is not how high you go. It's how low you go. How low you go down. That is how the God, God of heaven will look at you. Zacchaeus, when he got to the point that he thought Jesus is definitely going to pass by. He ran to the place. He was late. Already there was a crowd blocking him, preventing him to see Jesus. He said, no, I am not going to allow this situation of this crowd to let Jesus pass by without me not seeing him. What did they do? 
he took away his, 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 his glory, took away his shirt, dropped it down. And he, a rich man, he climbed up what they call a sycamore tree. What sycamore tree are you climbing in order for, you, for Jesus to see you in this church? What is the sycamore tree? That's the question I want everybody to go home and ponder. Think about it. What am I doing to make, my, to make Jesus recognize me in the foundation of life? Recognize me in the body of Christ. What am I doing? It's not just hearing the word of God. It's doing the word of God. For hearing the word of God, even the unbelievers hear the word of God. Satan hear the word of God. What does that mean? He's walking in obedience. Help. No. He enters here and he passes here. In fact, the word of God is a strange language to Satan. He does not understand what language is that. It's like a, you bring a, 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 an illiterate man or you bring somebody who does not know English and you want him to hear English. All he will hear is noise. 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 Jesus speak noise. Hallelujah. Noise. Praise the Lord. Noise. And you'll be surprised to see there are people in the church who can also be built the same way. The word of God comes, enters here, flies here. They throw the blood of Jesus, it drop here and flush on the back. Never enter. It has to enter before you will be. When you have to run away from the crowd. Zacchaeus ran away from the crowd. He stole away from the crowd and climbed up a sycamore tree so that he will be seen by Jesus. There should be a preparation that you should make. This brings me to remembrance of the, the, the virgins who are waiting for the bride to come. Some of them were, were wise and others were foolish. The wise, they did not only have oil in their lamp to maintain them till the bride comes around, they have spear that they put aside. Maybe the, the, the lamp will go mad. You see, they stick behind the door. You know when the neighbor go crazy, right? You have a stick behind the door. Always, when you lock the house, you put a stick behind the door. Maybe your neighbor will run mad, he'll come around to attack you. <laughs> Praise the living God. <laughs> Hallelujah. So those West Virgin, they had something behind. And when the lamp, because the Bible says, now the, the, the bride was delayed in coming. For we know not the hour, not the moment when Jesus is coming. The foolish virgin, they had barely enough oil. They said, oh, until this oil runs out, by then uh, the bride would have been here, would all enter. They were supposing. They were supposing that before the bride comes, that oil would be enough. In the house of God, there's no supposition. You have to do something. You have to walk until you, you, you bank when you put something in the bank. Then God, when something happens, in case of something goes wrong, you will take from the storage and add. When the bride delayed coming, what happened? The foolish virgin's oil ran out. And they went to their neighbors and said to their friends, who are wise? They said, hey, can you please borrow me some oil so that I will keep my lamp going? Tell your neighbor, say no. No. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that because otherwise we will dwell in the same camp. Fire! When we pray, the power of God comes out. And every time we stand in the presence of God, we want to make sure that everybody is, does not become a casualty. If you are praying this type of prayer, you join midnight battle. By the way, we have so, so much menu in our hands. We have morning coffee lunch. with the women, lunch. And name them. Midnight, midnight battle. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. We have Friday prayer time. Oh, no. Warfare. And then we also have one Sunday service. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then in between the cracks, sometimes we just pop in. That's right. So if you are inside this car and you begin to play the fool, the devil will sweep you. Paul, I know, Silas, I know, but who are you? <laughs> Paul, I know, Silas, I know, but who are you? So come and tell me, get out. Eh, this will not meet in that place, me and you. At the junction of, 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 of sin, I was in, I saw you there, I saw you there. When I went to the underworld, I saw you. So what do you want me to tell you? I was there. Yes, you know why they slaughtered that man? I was there. When they stole that soul, they took that soul. Why they made that man crazy? I was there. So I saw you there, even though you were wearing coats. Even though you are a pastor, I saw 
show you there. I show you. So who are you to come and tell me demon come out? Hallelujah. Amen. There should be a dedication. You have to dedicate yourself to see Jesus. It's not just something that will come around. You have to plan it and say, you know what? I am going to see Jesus. There should be something special that you do. You have to go an extra mile. There should be something that you have to put on. You have to take off something and put something on. The Bible says, Jesus called Zacchaeus. How did he know his name? We are serving an omniscient God. No. All knowing God. Right. So even when you are here this morning, I don't know how difficult your name is to pronounce, but Jesus know your name. I yes. say Jesus know your name. Yes. He knows everybody here. Even before, before you are given back to. He knew Zacchaeus before ever he made that move. And so when he came to the point, he stood still and looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down. That will be your portion in the name of Jesus. I say it will be your portion in this church in the mighty name of Jesus. If only you will listen to the word of God. If only you will not reject the word of God. You are going to be the next candidate, candidate of recognition. Jesus is going to recognize you. And when Jesus recognizes you, first of all, you are going to be envied. They will envy you because why Jesus has seen you. Because when Jesus sees you, even if you are ugly, you become beautiful. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. The way you walk, even change. Yeah. If you are walking like that, no, this time you begin to walk like that. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. The glory of God is upon your life. Yeah. Even if your face was black, by the time you know Jesus, it will start shining. Yeah. At the time, your husband will not need to put the lamp on in the house. Ah. Because when the glory of God is in your life, Give a glory, thank you. We bless you this morning for your Lord God Almighty. 
pastor, you have to cover him. The truth covering will be upon him. That the God Almighty God will give him wisdom, understanding to dig deep into the word of God and preach without fear and fear. Pastor, the Lord bless you. And the Lord keep you and your family. Amen. And may the Lord cause his face to shine upon you Amen. and give you peace. Amen. And the word of truth will always be in your mouth. Amen. You preach without fear. Teach without fear. Amen. God will richly reward you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let us be humble like this. It's good. Nothing is heavy. I feel myself I'm a spiritual person. I know. This is my own sycamore. I stand here and I saw Jesus. I'm sorry. And Pastor, I bless you, all your family. And I thank God you cannot know. I cried the whole night. I said, Lord, people don't want to work according to your holiness, according to your purity. They need to hear what they want, not what they need. To tell them how they will have money or whatever. If you don't have God, how can you have all those things? The devil will lie to you and give you anything that will kill you. Find Jesus who have everything, the real Jesus. Walk according to his steps, commandment and precept. That time he will be in you. Isaiah 11 verse 1 to 3. The wisdom of the Holy Spirit. Fearing of God. Understanding of God. And please, this is what we need. Then your banks will be filled to overflowing, and your vast will bring will bring over with my wine. Amen. So with this scripture, I urge you, my brothers and sisters in Christ, to celebrate God this afternoon with your tithes and offering. Amen. Amen.
pollution, I wash with the blood of the Lamb. I release the fire of God against every attachment that is not of you, O God. But I raise all this food in your blood. And I ask that this food become blessed, become medication for the lives of the people in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Bless the hands that you hear. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is loved. Yes. Can we stand up, please? Hallelujah. Let's go. Heavenly Father, we thank you for such a wonderful time. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for what we have heard here this morning. Lord, we pray as we are going, Father, Lord, we are not departing from your presence, Father, Lord. Let your word be an imprint in our heart, Father, Lord. That you would remind us of your word, Father, as your servant said. Your word have I given in my heart that I may not sin against you. Help us to walk towards your plan, Father Lord. Let your will be done in our life, Father Lord. Take us through, Father Lord. Help us and open our eyes of understanding. We thank you, Lord, for such a time. We thank you, Lord, for such an hour that we have spent before you, Father Lord. We give you all the glory, Father. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. This is Bianca Keda signing off from stvbroadcast.com, the student voice. You can now sign up for free membership at stvbroadcast.com. Don't forget to leave your comments in our forum and what we can do to improve our program. Thank you.